Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A fixed assets account tracks assets your business owns that are not likely to be converted into cash within a year. A fixed asset is something of significant value that is necessary for the operation of your business, like vehicles, computers, furniture, and some office equipment. Many times, the purchase of a fixed asset also incurs a long-term liability, like when acquiring an auto loan to buy a new vehicle. Fixed assets are not for immediate sale, but they have a value. Since they are useful for a long time, you don't completely charge their entire cost to the year in which you purchase them. Instead, you spread their cost over several years called the useful life of the asset. However, because fixed assets wear out or become obsolete like computers, their value declines constantly from the day you purchase them. When the value of fixed assets declines over a period, the amount of lost value is called depreciation. The total amount of this decline over a time period is called the accumulated depreciation. You will now examine one method for creating fixed asset accounts, noting their original value, and recording their accumulated depreciation. There are many ways to track fixed asset value and depreciation, and this is just one suggested method. This method works well to show the original cost, the accumulated depreciation, and the current book value for a single major fixed asset on separate lines in the balance sheet for clarity of reporting its book value. However, if you are currently tracking fixed assets and asset depreciation in other ways, like tracking their value within fixed asset accounts grouped by depreciation type, like vehicles versus computers, for example, rest assured you can also use other methods. When referring to the value of a fixed asset, at any point in time, you are referring to its book value. This is determined by subtracting its accumulated depreciation, which is the total amount of depreciation that has occurred since the asset's original purchase date, from its original cost. Some users want the company's balance sheet to show the original cost of an asset on one line, with the accumulated depreciation subtracted from the original cost on a second line, and the current or book value on a third line. The method in this lesson lets you see each asset's cost and its accumulated depreciation separately in your balance sheet. To do this, create a primary fixed asset account for each asset, and then create two sub-accounts for each primary fixed asset account, one for its original cost and one for its depreciation. To create the primary fixed asset account, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar, and then click the Chart of Accounts link under the Your Company heading in the menu that appears to open the Chart of Accounts page. Then click the New button in the upper right corner of the page to open a New Account pane at the right side of the window. Since the account you are creating is an asset, click the Assets button at the top of the pane. Then click the Save Account Under dropdown and select the Fixed Assets choice to create the new account as a primary fixed assets account. Alternatively, to make this account a sub-account of an existing larger fixed assets account, like vehicles, for example, select that account from this drop-down instead. Next, select the correct fixed asset classification choice for this specific fixed asset from the Tax Form section drop-down. For example, if creating a new fixed asset account for a new work truck you purchased, you would select the Vehicles choice. Type the Fixed Assets Account Name into the Account Name field. Optionally, enter a number and a description for the account into the respective fields. You will skip using the Starting Date and Opening Balance section if using this method, as those numbers, if needed, are used by the subaccounts you create to track the original value and depreciation for this fixed asset. When finished, click the Save button in the lower right corner of the New Account pane to add the primary fixed asset account. Next, to create the first subaccount for the original cost of this major fixed asset account. Click the New button in the upper right corner of the Chart of Accounts page to open the New Account pane at the right side of the window again. Since subaccounts must be of the same account type as their parent accounts in QuickBooks Online, 
click the Assets button at the top of the New Account pane. Then use the Save Account Under dropdown to select the primary fixed assets account you just created for which this account will record the original value. Make sure the Tax Form Section dropdown is set to the same choice as the parent account. Next, for the account name, type an account name that shows this is the account used to track the original cost of its parent account. For example, if the parent account was named Work Truck, you may name this something like Work Truck Original Value. Optionally, enter a number and a description for the account into the respective fields. If creating the original cost subaccount for a fixed asset account you are buying or just bought, you skip entering the information in the starting date and opening balance field. This is because the original value of the fixed asset comes from the value of transactions you still need to enter, like the loan you received or checks you wrote to buy the fixed asset. Alternatively, to record original cost values if creating an original cost subaccount for an existing fixed asset you previously purchased, click the starting date and opening balance section title to expand it. Then select the date as of which to record the original cost from the date to start tracking this account in QuickBooks dropdown. If you select the other choice from this dropdown, then enter the date by selecting it from the Start Date field that then appears. Next, type the original value of the fixed asset into the Account Balance at End of Day Selected Date field that appears. After creating the Original Cost subaccount, then click the Save button in the lower right corner of the New Account pane to save it. Next, to create the second subaccount for the accumulated depreciation of this major fixed asset account, click the New button in the upper right corner of the Chart of Accounts page to open the New Account pane at the right side of the window again. Since subaccounts must be of the same account type as their parent accounts in QuickBooks Online, click the Assets button at the top of the New Account pane. Then use the Save Account Under dropdown to select the primary fixed assets account you just created for which this account will record the accumulated depreciation. Then select the Accumulated Depreciation Choice from the Tax Form section dropdown. Next, for the account name, Type an account name that shows this is the account used to track the accumulated depreciation of its parent account. For example, if the parent account was named Work Truck, you may name this something like Work Truck Accumulated Depreciation. Optionally, enter a number and a description for the account into the respective fields. If creating the accumulated depreciation subaccount for a fixed asset account you are buying or just bought, you skip entering the information in the Starting Date and Opening Balance field. This is because new fixed assets wouldn't have any depreciation to enter yet. Alternatively, to record these values, if creating an accumulated depreciation subaccount for an existing fixed asset you had previously purchased, click the Starting Date and Opening Balance section title to expand it. Then select the date as of which to record the accumulated depreciation from the Date to Start Tracking This Account in QuickBooks dropdown. Note that if you select the Other Date choice, then enter the date by selecting it from the Start Date field that then appears. Next, type the accumulated depreciation of the fixed asset as of the selected date into the Account Balance at End of Day Selected Date field. To save the account when finished, click the Save button in the lower right corner of the New Account pane. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.